Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming and watching. I really appreciate it. So I have a video for you guys that I've wanted to do for ages. Um, I bought a silly sponge and it still hasn't arrived, but I want to do um, this because these videos are starting to get, I don't know, boring maybe. I don't know. I don't want it to get like to the point where it's like, oh, you're super late for the bandwagon. But I want to try like a Silis, like a silicone uh, bra insert kind of thing. I'm hoping it's a dupe for the Silis sponge. I've seen a lot of, of reviews I really have and videos on it because I was in intrigued. So I'm going to try this and I'm going to try it with the Rimmel Match Perfection foundation. I love this foundation. I know it really well and how it applies to my face. I'm going to try it without any primer as well. My face is moisturized. That's about it. So I'm going to give this a go. This is just for fun. Um, <clears throat> uh, I have a lot of <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, uh, a little bit of redness on my cheeks and things like that, but my skin is actually doing quite well, like I'm not like full of breakouts, so yes. So let's get going, I want to see how this works. So why I picked this, this is a bra insert, you can get these from loads of places, um, I thought it would be good because you can kind of bend it like this, and then you'd be able to kind of pat with it really well because you have a good control, because like, like this, you're just going to be... That sounds so wrong. You're just gonna be slapping it on your face. I thought this would be good and it kind of bends so it would get into the nose and stuff. So let's give it a go. Um, you can get these from pennies, loads of different places. So how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna pump a little bit onto my hand. I don't even know if I'm gonna need that much, but that's about a pump. I think I use about a pump and a half with this foundation usually to cover my face. So let's get going. So I'm just gonna dip it in like that. So these are supposed to be good for like not wasting a bunch of product because it's not going to soak in. Oh, hmm. It's not going to soak in. So what I've seen people do is they like apply it onto the face and then they like dab it in. So that's what I'm going to try. Maybe the best thing to do is like just put little on at a time. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to look into the mirror beside me here. Um, hmm. I don't know if you can see how it's applied. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more. I'm going to put a drop there, a drop there, and then like some on my forehead. Um, yeah, when you spread, it kind of just spreads. It, it spreads nicely with this. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't know how well this is going to work because for me it's like... It's blending okay. Like, I'm, I'm not hating it. I'm not like, oh no, but it's... I hope my silly sponge shows up soon. It's really hard to get into the crevice of the nose, so I had to like really push it in there. Oh, it's kind of hard to get around your lip. <laughs> yeah, I've like only used one pump so far and it seems to be working all right. It's not as full coverage as it would be with a flat top kabuki kind of brush. This is weird. This is so weird. It feels really nice bouncing this onto the skin though because it does move and squish. I don't know if you can see that. It kind of squishes into the face. Don't forget the ear a bit. Yeah, it's not good for getting into crevices of your nose. I kind of have to go like pull my nose to the side. Ooh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know, can you see the coverage it's giving? It's kind of like a medium coverage that it is giving. Um, I still haven't even used everything on my hand yet. So I feel like it's, I'm gonna be applying over top of product. I feel like it definitely smears a lot. But I definitely feel like I'm not wasting any product. I feel like I'm really squishing it into the skin. 
but I'm not getting as full coverage as I would with a brush or a beauty blender kind of sponge or Real Technique sponge. Yeah, I, I don't hate it, but I'm not, I don't know if I'd reach for this very often. Maybe if I had a more expensive foundation and I didn't want to waste any product maybe. But with this foundation, it is applying it quite nice. I really can't complain. And yeah, like there's like almost no product being wasted because it's just silicone, so it has nothing to stick to. But if you do go over spots where you have too much, you know, it can pick up. So it it does an okay job. I'm not hating this. This works actually quite nice on my skin. Now, I don't have really oily skin, really dry skin. My skin is actually really perfect right now. It's basically normal skin. <laughs> normal skin. So yeah, that's kind of the coverage I feel like I'm getting. Some spots got a second coat. Yeah, I feel feel like it went on pretty good. I feel like I basically am getting like a light, like a light medium kind of coverage. Um, whereas I can normally get medi like a high medium with this foundation with a brush. I feel like it just applies and blends a little bit better with a brush, but this, I'm not hating it. I'm not at all hating it. And there, like there's barely anything on. It's a little dirty as you can see. Um, but yeah, this works good and you, I had good control. The only thing is getting into small areas like the around the nose and on top of the lip because it is a bit fat but you could have I could have went on went like that but I feel like there's no control so yeah like I feel this is good will I probably use that technique I don't think so I'm not sure my face does look really really nice like my skin looks flawless I don't know what you guys think and I still had a little bit of product I usually don't put it on my hand because I feel like that's that wastes it as well I just um don't have a palette thing I need to get one um, but yeah, so there's still product and I only used one pump of this and usually like I said I use about one and a half pumps So definitely don't waste as much product. So I do like that. So this is that was just for fun Hopefully you guys found that fun and interesting um, I'm gonna go put the rest of my face on now, but thank you so much for watching and let me know if you've ever tried um, the silicone sponge or you know these kind of things I've seen girls try the gel insoles as well. Anything kind of silicone will work. Anything silicone will work. Just um, for a dupe for the silicone brush if you don't feel like spending lots. There's also lots of 99 cent ones or 99 pound, like 99 pence ones and stuff like that or really, really affordable ones online that are duping the silicone sponge. So I think it's called the silly sponge or something like that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found that fun and interesting. If you like to see these kind of videos, thumbs it up. If you like this video, thumbs it up. Um, if you like me, thumbs it up. Anyway, also please don't forget to um, hit the subscribe button down below. I love for you to join my beautiful subscribers, my friends, my lovely people who leave comments. Thank you so much all the time. I appreciate it guys. Until next time, take care. Have a good time. Bye.